agents pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. Good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. supposed to sing that evening in the garden, but she lost her voice right at the start. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing, and they had one of the... Corvo? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine? And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.
Listen, Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe. Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors. And we'll Invitation, games. please. Another of their eccentric... Jeez. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tight. Right, right this but way, sir. Maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by... Are you looking forward to the party? What you there, stop that. that. Ah, Mr. Bunting. Just had someone here pretending to be you. Welcome. Another party game. <laughs> oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. The party's indoors this time. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed. Yes. I believe... Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless, lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. See what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop. Stand right there. Three. Two. One. Another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. Ooh. 
Please enjoy Cold yourself. night, sir. Inside. Warmer indoors. Uh. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should... Talk him some manners. This party is... Damn. I'm sure he's just doing his job. Right a party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the boils are all... Did you hear about Mrs. Brinkley? You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street, barely 16 years old. No family left. I thought her interests were confined to her family. Oh, yes. What is jumping you up to?
most people don't remember is the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. Stop it once. That's what they want you to think. Watch what you're saying. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one. Excuse me. Stop it. Stop it. Welcome to the party. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not Stop to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. <laughs> Bless you. You mischief are you Stop that. Here. Don't be silly. Go ahead, help yourself. I take everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. this year. No, no, no. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. You should see this as an opportunity to go ahead and take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. Indeed. I know your mission tonight. We must speak privately. Any Evening, evening sir. sir. You stop that. I'm a friend of Pendleton's and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight and how to say this. Your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. <laughs> 